So here I've got the five different transformer coils from the cells. So you will see that they have all got the same form factor, if I show it you from different angles. So the difference here comes in the number of turns of wire on each coil. So just to take this one as an example, you can see there's three sockets across the top that you can connect to. So you can either connect across these two for 300 turns, these two for 350 turns, or the end two for a total of 650 turns. So that gives the user the added value that they essentially get three coils from the one unit. So with the whole set, you can go from a minimum of 50 turns up to a maximum of 1,150 turns. You'll also see on each unit that there is a maximum AC voltage rating for each coil. Now it's really important that that's not exceeded because in step up transformer investigations, you can generate really high voltages. So any demonstration or any consultation on this product should include a discussion around that. So for transformer investigations where you do step up and step down transformers and primary and secondary coils, you are gonna need the added accessory of the C-Core and clip set. So this guy's job is to hold two coils together. So let me show you how it works. Okay, so you need to take two coils and hold them together. You'll see that I've got the sockets on the outside of the unit so that we can still connect to them. Then you need to take one of the C shapes and slot it through the middle. And then take another C shape and slot it through the other side. And then to hold those in place, we're gonna need the clip. So just place this on and snap it into place. There we are, and then we are ready for a transformer investigation. So I'm quickly gonna run you through how to set up a step down transformer investigation. So you can see that we've got the transformer rig that we've just made here. And um, you're also going to need an AC voltage power supply, some patch cords and a multimeter. Okay, so first off, the coils that I've used in this transformer rig are the 300 and the 350, and then on the other side, the 50 and the, and the 100. <laughs> so for a step-down transformer system, we want the number of turns in the primary coil to be a high number, and in the secondary coil, a low number. So for my primary coil, I'm gonna go across the full 650 on here, So I've gone in both ends on this one, and then I need to connect that to the AC output on the power supply. So I'm going in here. Then we wanna make sure that our AC power supply is on two volts and turn the power on. So we should have two volts on the input primary coil now. Um, so let's have a look if we've definitely got that. So I'm gonna need my multimeter. I'm gonna turn it on. Um, I then know that I am measuring AC voltage down here, so we want to choose somewhere sensible in the range. Um, so if I then come into my sockets down here, we want the common one. And then you can see that the other ones, these are, whoop, move out of the way. These are both for measuring current. We're not measuring current, we want to measure voltage, so we're going in that one on the end. So we then want to take these leads and take them across the primary coil. So I'm going to plug into here and our reading for the primary coil is 2.06 volts, which is what you'd expect for a 2 volt power supply. Um, so that is our voltage input on the primary coil. And then to check what it is on the secondary coil, I'm going to pull these leads out and then bring them over to the secondary coil. So you can either go across 50, 100, or 150, which is the nice thing about our coils. You've got those different tappings. So for example, over the full 150, you get an AC voltage of 0.46. Now you can take those numbers and use them in the transformer equation and prove that it is correct. You can also do step up transformer investigations with this kit. So that is where for the primary coil, you've got a low number of turns and the secondary coil, you've got a high number of turns. Now, this is where you need to be really careful with the output from the power supply. You need to make sure it's limited to two or three volts. For added safety, you can use the coils from the lower end of the range so that you can limit the maximum turns ratio possible. All of that is described in detail in the instructions that come with the kit. So another important demo you can do with transformer coils is induced voltages and currents. So here I've got the 550 600 turn coil and I've connected it to the oscilloscope. I'm not giving this any power, I'm literally just reading the voltage coming off it. 
The other thing that I've got is this little bar magnet and if I start to dip the magnet in and out of the coil you should see the waveform on the scope begin to deflect. So that is just because I'm dipping the magnet in and out and I'm inducing a voltage in the coil. Now if we were to drop the magnet through the coil let's see what happens. So I'm rapidly going to drop the magnet one way through the coil and then the other way. Let's have a look. Perfect. So if I bring the scope up to the screen so you can see, uh, we've got this kind of, it goes negative then positive and then positive then negative. And that switch is due to the polarity of the magnet, the north and south pole. Um, and you can see that the secondary peak, the secondary spike is always bigger than the first one. And that's because the magnet's traveling faster at that point. Now that's a really nice demo that you can do with data logging, but you can also do it with the scope as I've just shown. Um, just for reference, the time base on the scope is 200 milliseconds. So in all, this is a fantastic little set of transformer coils, which would be perfect for introductory electromagnetism labs. Thanks for watching.